Okay, I'm going to do this in probably two steps. There's my bucket of rubber. Right there. Calfee kit container. Uh, this is a pregnant stump. I'm fixing to put a real thick coat of rubber on it. And when I'm talking about thick, I mean, that's what I was talking about on the first layer. I don't normally do this every layer. I'm putting it on thick. Gonna get boring. I'm slapping it on. Alright, there you go. Just slapping it on thick. I'm gonna do the whole thing like that. Alright. So, sometimes I tell stuff and I can't explain it. Because I've experienced it, I guess I think everybody ought to catch up with me, and I get it. You can't explain stuff you've done or failed or whatever over 10 years, 20, or well, I ain't done it that long, but I've done a long time. I'm putting it on thick, see? That's what I'm basically doing. I'm putting it on thick all the way around. I'm not carrying her. On the first layer, I cared a little bit more. This is the second layer. I'm going to get in there, get in that detail. Um, when I talk about a first good layer, I'm talking about, I don't like that thin stuff. I want a good, solid layer. But, uh, yeah, I get it. You're going to catch your detail. But nothing wrong with making a good solid layer on the first time instead of a thin one. I've had molds I bought from very good people where you get that little bit of thin peeling or layering or whatever you call it, delamination. Yeah, I get that. Right. I'm going to shut up for a little bit. Yeah, I don't feel like talking. <laughs> a whole lot. But I don't bore you either. See what I'm doing, putting it on thick. Then I'm gonna come back and rake it out. Uh, I'll swirl around, I'll show you. Make sure you get the full effect. I'm not gonna cheat you. I may do every layer like this. I ain't never done it like this. Every layer. One coat a day. Now this is engineering rubber. Your rubber may not do like this. Uh, Crown will do like this. Crown does good. Crown's a little thinner. You don't have to do it this way. I'm just showing you a, a different way. If you do it this way and it don't work, that's on you. Uh, Somebody ask. Show a little more. I don't mind. I may just do the whole video. Start to finish. I don't know. My problem is I don't want to bore you. I'm not like. A lot of people are like doing videos that just keeps lingering on and on and on. But I get it. You want to see the finish too. I'm not good at it. So if I say something wrong, you're going to hear it. <laughs> or you'll never hear it. One thing about rubber, uh, you get all different kinds. People say they're all the same. They're not. Rubber over in Europe, England, like that. It's hard to find rubber this thick. 
uh, get you rubber and then you have a lot of air bubbles because it's so thin the way it's made and it shrinks a lot too because I don't have a lot of solids. I don't know what the difference is, how they make it. Uh, a lot of people think it's all pre-vulcanized. No, it's not. Why could it be? Different people, different companies. It's not all the same. Um, there's some kind of story about, I don't know if Ford really did it or not, but some about Ford invented a rubber for a tire. I don't know if he did or Goodyear did, who knows. But anyway, somebody accidentally spilled some boiling water in rubber and that's how they invented a tire, I don't know. But it does have a lot to do with it. Heat does, natural rubber, uh, Aztecs and mines or whatever, they had a ball or something they used the rubber. I don't know, I don't know how, I don't know if they had a natural tree or not, rubber tree, but that's where it all comes from, that's what they say. Ain't never had one. You know, I'm just rambling. Just trying to keep y'all entertained with a fool. <laughs> I'm gonna edit this and just be the music. Anyway. Put her on thick. And like I said, I'm gonna rake her out like I did the first layer. And uh, I've never done the second layer or any other layer. Well, I've done other layers deeper on at the end of this cycle, but I ain't never done it this much height. I'm not gonna stop and do another one. I'm just gonna go ahead and rack it out and show you. All right, I used a two inch brush on this. All right. Now, my camera phone shuts off. I lose my memory. I'm sorry, I ain't going back. I'm gonna put it in water. Just water. I don't use soap and water, I just water. That's all I use. That's what I use right here. Just water. And then I'll rake it out later on. Whoops. With a steel brush. Horse mane steel brush. You can see all the fibers. Hair is built up. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this chip brush one inch and I've cut the end off of it. What I'm gonna do is just, like I said before, I'm just gonna break, dump. Yeah, it's got a lot on there. Break and dump. Too much on top. Probably should get the two inch brush out. I got too much on here. Yeah, I probably won't do it on every layer. Like I said, it was, it was the first layer to get in. This is how you do the first layer to get into the detail. You know, all that extra. You're raking. You're raking it off. It makes a good first layer coat of rubber. That's what I recommend it for. Not to second, it, but I'm just showing. It'll take a little while with this one inch brush. I wish I had another two inch brush, but it's all right. Y'all bear with me. See how I'm breaking it off? Um, people's probably like, that's kind of crazy. That's not going to work. I mean, I'll just put one layer on. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I'm just doing this for demonstration. But the first layer, uh, there is some kind of uh, chemical reaction or heat or whatever going on with the rubber, I think. Uh, I'm going to get the two inch brush out. I'll wipe it off with a paper towel if I can find one.
just to speed it up. It's still wet brush is, but that's all right. I'm going to get this stuff off here as quick as possible. Not that we need to, I'm just doing it for the video. Raking rubber off. I'm swirling it. Come back in after you raked it. I'm, I'm doing a real quick version because I don't want to do this video forever. All right. You come in, rake it out. That's how you do it. That's your swirling I was talking about. I'm trying to get a good thick layer. Right. See what I'm trying to do? Get that excess raked out. Makes a good mean layer. But you gotta get that rubber out. You have to let it build up too thick. You don't, you don't let it get or air dried enough to put the next one on your screw. I'm sorry it's taking them so long. But yeah, that's what I do. And the first one. <laughs> like I said, this is the second one. I'm doing it for show and tell. Sometimes you show and tell too much, right? <laughs> I like it. Right. And around it. I'm just going back through. Still showing. You can still see the bark on the pregnant stump. You love this piece. I think it's going to be awesome when I get done. Going around the flange a little bit. Don't build up around there. All right. That's pretty good. All right. Let me explain a little more before I shut y'all off. All right. I'm going to do a full seam. I got it marked right here. Up this side. And then 180 degrees from it. I'm going to do a half a seam. I got it marked. About to right, right there. And um, full seam. It'll go pretty high. I'll probably bring it up right up to there. But anyway. Um. Uh, there you go, guys. That's a good thick number two coat. I may even start putting a fan on it. And uh, I'll see you later.